Hello, I'm James Menendez. Welcome to News Hour from the BBC World Service. We're coming to you live from London. Welcome back to News Hour. Now to a remarkable project in the United States, which is aiming to document online the lives of all those American soldiers who died in the Second World War. The idea behind Story Behind the Stars, as it's known, is to allow anyone walking through a war cemetery to look up the name on a headstone and find out more about them with just a few keystrokes. Thanks to volunteers, they've already completed nearly 20,000 short biographies and are aiming to do the remaining 400,000 in the next three years. It's all the brainchild of Don Mill of Louisville, Kentucky. Our volunteers started doing Arlington in January, they've gotten through about 3,000 names, so we still have about 5,000 more to go, but that should happen over the next few months. And then anyone visiting Arlington National Cemetery, if they see a, a gravestone that shows that they died during World War II, they'll be able to take their smartphone out and they'll be able to read that name. And 8,000 is just a drop in the bucket compared to our total goal of 421,000. Last year, we did all the Americans who died at D-Day, which is 2,500. All the Americans who died at Pearl Harbor, which is about 2,300. And in total, we've done 17,000, thanks to the hundreds and hundreds of volunteers. Our goal is to get all 421,000 names completed by September 2nd of 2025. That'll be the 80th anniversary of the end of World War II. Right, gosh, so there are another 400,000 that, that, that yep. need to be done. And these are all volunteers, uh -huh. are they, writing, right. uh, writing these stories? Volunteers. And and some of them just do one story because it's a relative. Uh, that's great because they have more details than others. And many of them do the, like, one a week. So maybe they had a hobby that they liked watching a movie on Friday night. And now instead of doing that, they do this instead. But we have many that are retired that have a little extra time on their hand and They've got a background maybe in genealogy or an interest in World War II, or maybe they had someone who served that came back and would tell them about their friends that never came back. And this is just a way to to pass that on or on for these people that died to restore liberty. Is Yeah, so I was going to say, how easy is it to get the information you need? It's easier than you would think. You need to have a computer, obviously, but then we, we have a training course for free that people can use to tell you this is where you go to find this kind of information, this is where to go to find that. And there's usually like three or four, maybe five different locations that you search on the website, but it only takes like a couple hours to find that information and then maybe an hour or more to write what's basically just a short obituary, like maybe 500 words. Our, our greatest generation, the, the generation that fought in World War II or faster than ever disappearing as they, as they die off, there's probably maybe just 100,000 left from the United States out of 16 million who served. And if you were to ask them or those that have already passed on who the real heroes were, is they would always tell you they're the ones that didn't make it home. And so how do we remember them, especially if the people that knew them once they're all gone? Well, this is a way to permanently remember them for decades and decades. Cemeteries should no longer be a place where you just see some names and dates on a gravesite. You'll want to bring your smartphone with you because – You'll want to find that person's name, pull up their story, maybe see their photo, and then not just leave flowers or a flag at someone's gravesite, but recognize them a little bit more closer to heart for what they did. Don Mel, founder of Story Behind the Stars.